So we've had a very little direct impact. We've had some indirect impact from Elsa, though, and that's the humidity has gone up. This is a live look from our BJCC Tower Cam. Although rainfall is rather limited today through central Alabama, plenty of wet weather fell through south Alabama. So if you just traveled about 60 miles south from Montgomery all the way down to Mobile, heavy rainfall today. 80 degrees right now in Birmingham. Winds out of the south feels like 84 even at this hour. We have 70s elsewhere from 74 in Coleman, Gadsden to 76 in Talladega. As we move through the nighttime, though, it is going to be muggy out there as dew point temperatures right now are in the low 70s. I call this weather you can wear as you step outside. You can just feel that wall of moisture when we start to get in these low to mid 70s. We start to get in that oppressive and tropical air mass and a lot of that again kind of attributed to Elsa for tonight, though those temperatures remaining mild, staying in the 80s through 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. rather and then moving into the mid 70s through around 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Now the humidity forecast tomorrow, we're going to bring that up into the very muggy category from sun up to sundown tomorrow. Not a lot of relief as far as the muggy meter goes. As we're planning your day, temperatures will start out in the 70s with a mostly sunny sky. We will see a good amount of sunshine tomorrow, even though we will have some isolated showers and storms. So if you're heading out to the pool tomorrow, just listen out for the rumbles of thunder. I wouldn't go canceling any of your outdoor plans, but just be prepared for an occasional shower or storm. And you remember, some of these could pop up some heavy rain at times. Temperatures will flirt with 90 degrees for tomorrow. So as we're looking at the next 24 hours, it's dry overnight. Winds stay out of the south. Clouds will be increasing from the south to the north through mid morning. We could see some of those isolated showers as early as noon tomorrow, but a lot of that heavy rain may even stay to our north in the Tennessee Valley. But we'll be watching out and monitoring for some of these isolated pockets of wet weather. Just a continuation of much of the same Saturday and Sunday heat humidity with a small chance of rain but the best chance of rain for us will actually arrive Monday of next week as a cold front will be pushing in and that cold front not going to bring us any severe weather, but just going to bring us an uptick in rain coverage by Monday. More of that summer like weather pattern through the middle of next week though. And that's a look at your storm team seven days.